say you wanted an accent wall. <laughs> what you're gonna love about the master bath is the double vanities. Don't look at the claw marks. Don't look at the claw marks. It's all cosmetic. <laughs> Is that him? No. Well, how will I know? Oh, you'll know. He'll be coming straight towards you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Like, boom, boom, boom. No pausing. God. I know. <laughs> Wait, do you have the paper? Doesn't matter. But it's legal. What are you going to do? Throw paper at him? I don't know. It's all like, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> God. I know. <laughs> Wait! Is that him? At the corner by the tree? No, 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 that's oh, not Oh, him. how can you be sure? Oh, he never stops, never. Ever? Yeah, it's more like a... like that. Oh, God. Boom, boom, boom! <laughs> <laughs> Severed head. Mm. 
Uh, oh, what should we do? Oh, I reckon we'll just leave it be, and whoever that belongs to, they'll be about to pick it up by and by. Well, your snakes got loose again, wherever. I'm gonna get him before he gets that head. Well, <laughs> happy Easter. Come back soon now. <laughs> Sure, he has 
amount of black blood. What do you mean pure in its genes? Not blood. Who knows it's been floating around our genes after all these centuries? I'm proud my great grandmother's Cherokee. I'd rather be considered Indian than white anyway. Um, who have you been inviting into your home since moving to the city? These are the BFFs you want to meet here. Who do you think I am? These are my sister. And we're what? White. We come through the front door. I came through the front door. I'll exit by it. And there it is.
are two JC. Then you rest. <laughs> Only one P. I should have popped the cap in that nigga Judas. <laughs> <laughs>
But do you have any hot friends? Bastard! Oh, uh, oh sorry, that, that was out of line. Hey, I just, wait, wait, go, go! That was the bell dance! Fishlet, my sister. Good luck on day number 14. <laughs> Naked is really different than nude. <laughs> nude is like a whole school of art. It's like... Think of it like this. If a woman is lying around with no clothes on, eating spaghetti and watching TV... Is that what you think women do when they're not around? <laughs> no. <laughs> No, she's naked. I don't get it. <laughs> well, if I were painting her, if she were posed, she'd be nude. Even if she's eating spaghetti? Forget the spaghetti. But, I, I think you're unable to grasp the theoretical distinction here. I think you're an idiot. What? I came here tonight to start nude with you. Yep. Now I'm going to eat spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Colin's off limits. Go for it. He's adorable. No, I'm not pursuing him. I just don't want you to either. And why is that? Because if you dated and it worked out, part of me would always wonder what if, or more likely it didn't work out, then he'd be your ex and I couldn't go for it. So no touching. Off limits. <laughs> oh, sometimes. <laughs> Cut me off from great guys just so you can keep them in your stable of maybes. <laughs> stable of maybes. Fuck off, you dick. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> off, jerk face. Clarify. Uh? We're fighting over a guy that neither of us is actually interested in. We're fighting because I'll be damned if you prohibit me from having a man that I don't even really want. <laughs> gotcha. I hate fighting with you for someone's attention. You always win. Guys are interested in a lot more than looks, Charlie. I know, but nobody ever says that to you. I just wonder what that's like. <laughs> Did you uh, enjoy the movie? Me too. Now, wasn't sure if you like that sort of thing, the whole post-apocalyptic tragic comedy horror flick isn't for everyone. <laughs> kind of chilly. Are you cold? You're so quiet. What is it? What are you thinking? Did this park turn into a lightning bug world? I think of you. <laughs> <laughs> I made a piece. I'm 
I'm sorry out of me, don't you? And I mean it. You know I love you, right? Right, Pumpkin? So what do you think? Somebody just shoot me. How about I take you to this place I like? It's getting a little late. Maybe next time? Tell me a random fact. I like playing with children. Really? I'd have to carry something heavier than wallet chains to protect them. They're fine. I, I love the moment when you realize that children are really people. They have experiences just like adults. What about you? Uh, long walks to the lake at night? The moon would be so beautiful. Actually, I like those flashing billboards. <laughs> Why? The thought of guessing which advertisement will be next is fun. You don't know what's going to happen, but you know it's important either way. Well, there's one. See? Dental teeth cleaning. Watch. It'll probably be something about a missing child or a criminal next. What'd I tell you? Wanted. The Honey Thomas. Child molestation? <laughs> Rape? How about we take that ride? I know a lake that the moon shines really nice in, especially on a night like tonight. <laughs> Twenty-five. 
Oh yeah, 26 tops. Ooh, she looks so self-conscious. They all do. Start being in your 20s. <laughs> you miss it? God, no. I do. I used to turn heads when I walked in a room. Now I'm invisible. In Harry Potter, you have to have clothes to be invisible. <laughs> <laughs> Little did he know all he'd have to do is be a woman of a certain age. No cloak required. <laughs> Actually, I have found a lot of perks since I've gotten older. Like what? Like being invisible. There's enormous power in that. So you're saying that there are millions of women who have a magical cloak of invisibility? Yeah. They can do whatever they want because of it. What do you think would happen if women found out about this, actually started using it? I don't know. Put the word out. And let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Bait and switch. They seduce you with 
promises of moving to some foreign paradise. How exactly do you put your <laughs> And then they toss you into a cultural goby where we're not even married. But still be married. If we were stranded on a desert island, with no laws at all, we'd still be married. If we were stranded on a desert island, there would be no one questioning our marriage. <laughs> I like our life. I don't want to lose our life. Fine, I'll just tell them no. You'll get a deduct? Yep, I mean, if you don't want to be there, we won't go. Thank you. Now, I wouldn't mind dessert. You want to? No! <laughs> <laughs> attention. A year ago today, I was fishing, and a rope got caught in the anchor. I went overboard. Your rope. Stop. I'm not sure what happened next. Your rope. I just knew I wouldn't be around to tell this story. But then, I woke up to the most beautiful sight, Ira. And now, I want to see that face every day for the rest of my life. Ira, will you do me the honors? of being my wife. I, I, it was me! <laughs>
Hello, Diane. How are you?
working on my speech. <laughs> In the future, everyone will be world famous for 15 minutes. So said Andy Warhol. And since then, people have done illegal and immoral things to get fame. Fame! We reward this philosophy. We pay attention to people who are self-absorbed and mean-spirited. You're gonna miss it! So I say, turn off the TV! Do something good! It's time to abandon the notion that every person deserves fame just because they're here. It's time for each one of us to raise the bar! Hi, It's started! Jersey Shore. <laughs> cool! <laughs> Did you get the popcorn? <laughs> It's giving our kids a better chance. We didn't make the rules. The rules are restrictive. Unrealistic. Counterproductive. But we're willing to work around that. And we think so should you. Because if we're not in all this together... Then the whole thing falls apart. <laughs> we're not asking you to change all the answers. Heavens, no. Only enough to give us the chance to do our jobs in the future. So don't think of it as cheating. But more as a form of civil disobedience. Who knows better, them or us? That's it! You're doing what you know in your heart is right. Of course. Yes? We're not condoning the practice. Or suggesting you do this just to save our jobs. So we do think our jobs are worth saving. Because only you... Can answer to your own conscience. So let's give you time to yourself. Get to mull things over. Because if we're going to get somewhere, we, we should, should all get, get there, there together. together. <laughs> <laughs> actually take the bottle. We should cut him down. We should think of the effort it took to put him up there. Right. That is no knife. Right. Fip. He was actually going to do it. That was the thing. Like actually. Like paying everybody off. Like I don't even know, man. I got to bleach my fucking shirt. You think he would have felt like this? Tripling with adrenaline, reliving in his mind with his skin. Watching life just stop. You don't. Think about it! I feel... We gotta go! Oh, we betrayed him! We? He's a fucking... 
fucking idiot. Finish the rest of this. Hey. How many do you think you brought? One for each of us. Washing her back. I just saw mom get disgusted. She didn't have on a bathing suit. She didn't have on anything. This is a bikini, not a bathing suit. You shouldn't go out like that. It's time in the tub. Do you want me to take your picture? No, you're too old to be here. Everybody else gets to. That was before. Now I have to keep my secret. Are you going to wash where you're covered up? No. I don't think so. What's the matter? I can't move my leg. Silly. How'd you get in the bathtub? I fell. How? Mom pushed me. I'll wash your back. hand started to roam on its own. At first, no one seemed to notice. But then, my left hand started to make random gestures. This was embarrassing during conversations. They didn't understand. I had no control over it. The bus. I was on the bus when an attractive woman sat down next to me. And my left hand went exploring. I fought against what I knew it wanted to do. Now, my left hand drags me around town while I'm asleep. Most recently, it took me to a gun shop where it purchased a handgun. You wouldn't think they could sell a gun to a sleeping man. I don't know what it wants to do. Does it want to kill me? Or someone else?
behind you. It took 30 seconds to read. I'm sorry, guys. I just can't make it anymore. Facebook. I love you all. If this is a joke, it's not funny. Who does that? Take care of each other. There were a lot of posts after that. A lot. Keisha, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Not funny, baby. Debbie, can someone check on it? Michael, I'm heading over there now. Stay tuned. Please forgive me. Michael found it. Please forgive me. Paul did this. Paul wrote this. under sheets, blasted by the boom, craving a savior who never came. But the men came, saying, I take care of you, so you take care of me. I'd rather die on the street than be crushed in a cage. So I ran, free to freeze. This frumpy old lady of grace found me cold and alone. She built a house in me helped me move from street to shelter, to here to now, and now I want on knowing and adoring you for years in my scared and trembling soul. I want you. You're like a gentle son to me. I offer you my heart, which holds the mansion of my soul. I offer a place of grace for us both. Take it, please. God, I love the sun. It's just far enough away, you know? Yeah. <laughs> She's... You can say it. Wife. She's my I wife. I know. I can always see, you know? Down there, at the bottom of the ocean, people think it's all thick and black and full of blind fish and crushingly cold. But it's not. Not if you have something to look forward to. But there is a man comes once a year and asks if you're ready to let go now. 
because it can be so much better than this. So much better than waiting for him. I promised you. Does she know that? I don't even know where these came from. They just kind of. Hello. Hello. Honey. <coughs> this is Grace. I only came out for him. We can't stay. Honey. Uh, we can't stay. Honey. A man will come. too much of your time, but I needed to talk. I know you'll understand. I've been spending more and more of my time at the library these days. Not for the books. I don't read. I go to see my mother. She was a librarian for 45 years. She died last year, but they put a really nice picture of her by the entrance. Nicest picture I've ever seen of her. Actually, the only picture I've ever seen of her. We never took pictures growing up. I wish we did. I never understood the importance until now. Now I have to go to the library to remember what she looked like. That's why I'm doing this now. Remember these moments in your life and cherish them because you can never get them back. There's one left. I want you to take it. I have to go now. The library will be closing soon. Cherish the moment. I know you'll make the right decision. the birds. I saw a yellow-bellied sapsucker on the bird bath the other morning. And a white rumped bush tit. <laughs> oh. You're really getting into this, huh? Oh, yeah. Mom really enjoyed it. Listen, Dad. Did you see my camera out there anywhere? There's a great shot on there of, of a red-shouldered hawk in the crook of the tree. Did you find it? I, I showed it to Steve at the bird store, and he said it was unusual for them to perch so low and so close. And now, what were you saying? Oh, nothing, Dad. I just want to make sure you're doing all right these days. Look, outside the window, a Hummer. Do you see him? Yeah. Incredible. Mom loved those the best. She comes by every day about this time. I need to pick up some nectar when we're out this afternoon. Can you remind me? Yeah, Dad, I can do that.
around the issue, not anymore. That's you! How else do you expect to get over it? Just stop. There is no it. No, there is to an it, and we've got to talk about it. Just tell me. No, I... You can. I will honor your secret and take care of your heart always. nightmare end for you? It did. Now if only I could forget. Hey. Hey. Waiting on a bus. Expecting rain. Reading the paper. Expecting rain. Things okay? I... Yes? Nothing. Nothing. Before you said nothing. Before I said nothing, I said I was expecting rain. I'm sorry for what I said. What did you say? Nothing. You didn't say nothing. I said I was waiting for a bus. Did they repossess your car? I... Yes? should have done things differently. I... Yes? I'm looking forward to better days. Don't forget your umbrella. Don't forget your paper. It's yesterday's news. I'm 
Why have you come here? Maybe you my fortune told. I've always been curious. Look into my eyes. I will see <laughs> you. <laughs> you Because 
We are people. Just as you are a people. Here are some brochures of global destination spots. You will be unable to afford to visit them. We look forward to a contractual, as needed, benefit free, non taxable relationship with you for the many years you require before you crawl into your grave. Congratulations, Americans! <laughs> we got another one. Yeah, we're going. <laughs>